now it is time for the uh, ultimately fun part for me. I'm all about the different liveries that we have here on show at ESL R1. And I know Lewis was talking a little bit of smack about my livery <laughs> rankings, but you know what? I'm going to check in with the final presentation of all of them and we can find out from the folks in the chat whether or not they agree with my final tier list. So let's go ahead and see some of these sweet, sweet designs. Okay, so we're kicking things off with G2. To me, personally, you can tell this is a G2 car. The design's really nice, and I feel like it's not too gamery. What do you think? Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think it definitely encompasses what G2 are all about. Uh, Porsche Coanda coming in as well with a very simplistic livery, but it looks sharp and striking. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, nice combination of the negatives, the black and whites too. And uh, Apex Racing Team with a very similar look, going for their typical color scheme, I would say. Yeah, I kind of like the Apex Racing team. I just wish there was some more pattern, some more design as opposed to the block colours. Now this one, okay. For me personally, if I'm driving this IRL, that is how I ranked a lot of these liveries, I would be more than happy with that. Super clean design. Taking a look at the FaZe Clan as well, we've got a nice pattern going on. Lots of colour as well, which I'm a big fan of too. I think it's super nice. Oh, yeah, they like their stripes, that's one. for sure. We agreed on this one. We liked Furia. Uh, I, th I think it strikes a very Brazilian uh, sort of, uh, sort of, you know, as in best festival type uh, livery. It just, just looks striking. Looked fantastic. Mouse also very, very sharp. Now you didn't like this one, Jasmine, but I liked it a lot. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! I don't know. I just wouldn't be driving that car IRL. As, again, that's how I was basing a lot of this. Williams, though, this was really nice. I like the fade effect that they've got going on as well. I think some more teams could have done with a sweet livery like that. And then we've got Team Redline. I'm loving the geometry. I'm loving the different colours as well. And once again, not too gamery. Moving on to Heroic though, what do you make of this one? Heroic looks sharp, uh, very similar to the mouse, con uh, not the mouse concept, sorry, the actual face clan concept too. Similar colouring as we saw, and also the BS competition BMW, of course, the stripes, the, the zebra you see on the side, of course, we saw a lot of that when we went to Katowice, but it does look sharp and uh, lots of colours. And the most colourful car you'll see on the circuit, the RAG Audi LMS R8, looks really, really stunning. Lots of colour work here. I love the combination of the orange, the yellows, and the blues, really does stand out. Let's kick the off with our Apex Racing team. This one would go in the Chad category because again, I love the shade of blue. I think it's very nice. For it to be bumped up into Giga Chad, needs some patterns going on there. BMW M, I wouldn't place it as a Chad category, to be honest. Uh, I think I'd probably put that as a nice for me. Yeah, I think it, it belongs in, in the nice category. Yeah, yeah, you, you yeah, feel I'm that? Yeah, I'm in agreement. Moving I'd into agree with phase that. though, Phase, I feel like, is a little bit hectic. Yes, we like the patterns, but it looks quite hectic. So I probably Small. put it in as a Chad. What do you think? I, I would, I would. Oh no, no. I think, I think Phase is not bad, personally. I mean, nothing okay. against them, but I, I think it's, it's a not bad one. I, I just think there might be a little bit too much going on. I think the, you know, don't get me wrong. Fantastic logo, fantastic heritage. I just think it might be a little too busy. And now taking a look at Furia. This livery absolutely slaps. Anybody that does not yes. have this as a Giga, Giga Chad. Chad energy, Giga Chad what Furia. are you doing? Get your eyes tested. Straight, yes, <laughs> straight in the Giga Chad. G2 Esports <laughs> is another Giga Chad. Obviously, I love the pattern. You can tell it's a G2 Esports. It's not an eyesore. And I just feel like it looks really nice. Uh, heroic, though. Again, I feel like, yes, there's some color. It does give me face plan nice. vibes. I feel like... You put, you'd put it in, I would put it in, yeah, I'd put it in nice. You're going to put it in keck. You're going to put it in keck. No. So you... See, this is the thing. I was looking <laughs> on social media. I was checking out everybody else's liveries, and I was like, all right, half of the people here are going to hate me by the time I finish my tier list. So moving into Mercedes AMG, Giga Chad Energy. Like, tell me you wouldn't be proud to be driving that bad boy around IRL. Well, I think if you look at that, it just it just speaks Mercedes, doesn't it? I think at that point, yeah. I, you know, and, that, and that's what Mercedes are. That that's their brand. So you can't you can't deny that's exactly where they'd go. I want to see that. Yeah. I want to see that at the top, Jasmine. That's going to the top. Oh, okay, I have spoiler alerts. I did ask in the Twitch chat as well which livery was the best. 
a few people were saying Mal's. I was looking at the tier list that you guys made on social media. Once again, if you want to check out um, everybody else's tier list or make your own exclamation mark social in the chat. But a lot of people were really rating this Mal's car. And to be honest with you, please don't hate me. That goes in the not bad. I'll be I'll honest. Be honest it's, I, I, uh, no. I can't believe you say that. I mean, I, I honestly think that that is one of the best liveries in the series. Re but what is it, though? Explain to me what it is. Well, it's red. That's it. That's just, again, <laughs> well, it's red. This, it is red. This is what I mean. <laughs> Colour does not equal a sweet livery. And, you know, you're probably going to be offended by this one as well. I'm being a little bit savage, being a little bit harsh. But um, all jokes oh. aside, I do think a lot of time and effort has gone into plenty of these designs. But Porsche Commander can go in the not bad as well. Allow me to explain why. I like the shade of blue. We got a little bit of pink in there as well. But it's not even centered, you know? Like the block of color almost looks as though someone has forgotten to paint the texture on one side. Like if it was centered, maybe you'd think it was intentional, but I don't know, it just, it throws me off a little bit. What do you, what do you think? Agree or disagree? Well, I think you're gonna make Roman Grosjean cry at this, right? I mean, this is his beloved RAG <laughs> esports team. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, I mean, RAG, uh, I mean, I, I love the livery. I think it's great. I mean, I wouldn't say it's Giga Chad, but I definitely put uh -huh. it as Chad, I think. I'm going to disappoint you once again. For me, that goes in the not bad. Yes, it's Goodness colourful. Me. It's too blocky, though. Goodness You're seeing, like, a common theme. When there's, like, patterns... Like, with Furia... Oh, I know Lewis McGlade has thoughts of his own on how the Furia car looks, um, but I'm just going to have to hard disagree with him. I think it looks beautiful. Team Redline, whack that bad boy up to Giga Chad, 100%. As I mentioned before, <laughs> geometry, color balance, everything beautiful. It looks classy. I think I think that's the kind of look and vibe we're going for. Williams, where would you place this before I give my answer? Um, I, I put Williams in Chad, uh, personally. I just think it's classic. Okay. Again, we, when, we, when you think Mercedes is the silver, you think you think of Williams as blue and white. You always do. I, I think they really did, they did well. It's, it's a typical chill blast livery that we've seen in, in esports. That's their image. That's what they're all about. I would never put it as Giga Chad, but I'd say it's Chad worthy for, for sure. I, I want to know what you're going to yeah. put, because there's got to be one that's got to go in Keck, isn't it? Am I going to put, lay, are we going to lay that on the line? Are you going to put one in Keck? I'll put one in Keck if you put one in Keck. Because uh, when I looked on social media, you guys are savages. We had members from G2 chiming in, just putting people in the Keck category. And I'm just like, wow, I was trying to be nice over here. Um, okay, you go first. Tell me who you deem Keck worthy, and then I'll go. I I'm going to upset a lot of... I I'm sorry to the Crim6 fans as well. I I'm going to stick the phase livery in Keck, personally. Ooh, wow. <laughs> It's I'm gonna make so wide. many enemies. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally make so many enemies with this. But I, I swear, I, 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 just out of my own sheer opinion, I just think there's too much going on. The logo perhaps sticks out a little bit too much for my liking. So for me, it goes okay. in the keck. But now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. <laughs> I would probably put R E G in keck. Again, I, it, it almost looks as though you've taken it into Microsoft Paint and just used the fill tool here, there and everywhere. And I feel like you could have done with some patterns and things like that. But yeah, I think I think personally, if you're asking me, that's a decent livery tier list. What do you think? Rate it or no? Yeah. I, I think yeah. I think we've gone probably as close as we can. I think it was I think it was okay, but yeah, naturally, it's a, it's a it's a game of opinions at the end of the day. So I'm sure the chat has their own name. I'm sure.